Hello there, people of the internet. This is a follow-up video with my number one Mark III that I got from Royal Tigers. This is a... Get out of here, you. This is a 1917 production. Uh, I had some problems with this rifle whenever I first got it. Uh, lots of hang fires from light primer strikes, or misfires from light primer strikes. Uh, the sear in the rifle was broken and the cocking piece was not being cocked back nearly as far as it was supposed to be. So I went ahead and I replaced that. It took a little bit of time for one to come in, but I did get it replaced and I managed to fire off five rounds consecutively. Uh, and they, the five rounds that I fired, uh, I only had one light primer strike, but I'm thinking there might've been some crud or something that the rifle was still working out. But after that, it fired just fine. Definitely better than it was firing before I replaced the sear. However, I was aiming at my steel silhouette down, down range, and uh, I didn't hit a single round on target. Now, I'm not a very good shot, but I am a better shot than that. So what I did was I actually set up some leftover wrapping paper that, that I got left over from the holidays. I'm going to go ahead and set around down range, see if maybe my sights are off, or maybe I have some bullets tumbling. I'm thinking I have bullets tumbling because whenever I had fired this rifle at the steel silhouette, I couldn't tell where my rounds were hitting, but I had one round hit exceptionally low. And if it was a sight problem, then they'd all hit exceptionally low. So I might have to rebarrel this rifle. Let's find out. She does hold up though. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to fire one round, see if I even hit my target. If not, I'll move closer. There we go. Sending the lead. Okay. Well, we definitely hit. Well, guys, it looks like we have a sideways round on target. Really hoping that that's a fluke, but we did hit our target. So maybe, maybe I'm just looking at it wrong. Let's send another down range, see if we hit our target. I'm just going to aim center mass like I did last time. Now well, that time we didn't hit our target. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. On the bright side, though, it is firing. You know what? I'm just going to make sure that wasn't a, a squib load. Just to be safe, you know, while I'm here. Nope, oh, that barrel's clear. <laughs> Alright, let's send another round. Just gonna aim center target like I did last time. Yeah, this right here was a light primer strike. It's firing a lot more frequently than it used to. Still having issues with this rifle. Alright, yeah, that was dead on. <laughs> okay, that's not a good sign. Um, I'm going to get a little closer, I guess. And just send one down range and see what she has to say. This is the walk of disappointment. I guess I don't have to send another one down range. The last one hit. Ah, oh, come on guys. Well, this one right here tore up the paper a bit, but you can very clearly see, especially from the hole that it made right there, that's a tumbling bullet. This one right here, very clearly a tumbling bullet. This one looks like it hit kind of okay, but I'm sure it was still tumbling. Ah, jeez, <laughs> I'm gonna send one more. And, ah, uh, oh God, that sucks. I'm gonna have to replace the barrel on this thing. Not the end of the world. I wanna bring this 1917 rifle back to life, but I mean, whenever you're getting military surplus, it's all luck of the draw. Okay, all right, maybe. Maybe those are flukes. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, oh, jeez. I know it's not the ammo because I fired this ammo I'm firing out of my jungle carbine and my number four Mark I, and it doesn't have this problem at all. Let's just set another round, see what happens, I guess. All right, I have no idea where that round went, but I'm gonna go look. All right, it looks like we had two rounds that tumbled and two that did not because the one I just fired landed pretty uh, pretty close to the last shot and it was not a tumbling round. Maybe there's just some crap in the grooves of this rifle that are still working out. I mean, how long did this thing sit in Ethiopia? Fingers crossed that that's the case. 
Let's set another round. I'm gonna aim a little bit higher just because I don't wanna start mixing up these rounds here. All right, I can see the bullet from here. That one doesn't look like a, a tumbled bullet, but my sight's not that great, so I'm gonna go double check that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that round did not tumble. Uh, hell, let's send a round at the steel, see if it hits. I got two rounds left in my pocket. Let's see how this goes. Just gonna aim right for the steel silhouette out there. You guys probably can't see that. There we go, just gonna aim right for the steel silhouette out there. Well, that one didn't hit. Oh, interesting. We got a bulged primer on that one. Very interesting. My receiver's not coming apart, is it? Don't look like it. <laughs> well, hell. All right, so that round did not hit. Let's try for the paper again, see if this round tumbles. I'm gonna actually keep my face away from the rifle, just in case that round blows, that primer pops out. Okay, let's see if we can see where that one hit. Well, that one hit straight as can be. Maybe I just missed the steel silhouette. Maybe that was just me. I'm gonna go grab a few more rounds of ammo. 303 is quite expensive right now, but I'm gonna go grab a few more rounds of ammo and uh, see if I can hit that steel. Okay, well, I have a few more rounds. Um, I've noticed that with the shots on paper, we're no longer getting any bullet tumbling. Maybe, maybe we just had to work some crap out of the barrel. I don't know. Took a lot of rounds to work that crap out. Maybe it was a fluke. I, I don't know. Bullet, bullets can be strange sometimes, but uh, I've noticed on the paper I'm hitting consecutively right uh, for the rounds that aren't tumbling. So maybe the sights on this thing need to be readjusted. So whenever I shoot for the steel this time, I'm going to aim just a hair left, just a. Just a, oh, a couple of inches, a little bit more than a hair, I guess. And we're going to see if we hit it that time. So let's see if the sights on this thing are off. Nope, that might have been a little too far left. Maybe, I don't know. Actually, let me check that primer. We got bulged primers, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Headspace on this thing might be just a smidgen off, but that wasn't like that earlier. Maybe it's just because it's heating up. Try that again, maybe a little less left. That looked a little low. I think I saw concrete on that one. So less left and a little bit higher. I'll aim for the top of the steel. No, that still didn't bloody hit it. Oh man, I'm 303 is so goddamn expensive. Okay. I'm gonna try just one last time. I'm gonna try a little less high. You know what? I'm gonna get on the tree so I'm nice and stable. And I'm just gonna aim for that, that sizable hole that I have in, the paper, in the, the paper that I have out there. We're gonna see where the round lands. Versus me just playing the guessing game here. All right. That was dead on. Okay, let's see what we got. What we got is a walk of severe disappointment. That last round I fired was a tumbling round. Uh, all right, so the tumbling's definitely there. It's just inconsistent. Damn it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I need some whiskey. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I guess, guys. Uh, I feel like I burned off way too much ammo with this thing. I got consecutive, you know, non-tumbles, but, and I just got some tumbling. Um, I'm gonna look into getting maybe a different brand of 303. Uh, try sending some of that through there. Uh, <laughs> Because, I mean, although I, this ammo works fine in my other infields, so it's got to be the gun. Uh, I don't know. I can try different brands of 303, but my God, those are going to be expensive. Oh, well. I'll figure it out. 
We got bullet tumbling and ammo that doesn't tumble in my other rifles. So, thank you, Kevin. That's Kevin's scream of disappointment. I'm probably gonna have to replace the barrel in this thing. I'll probably just get myself a 303 no-go gauge. See if it closes on that, just give it a shot. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, I mean, at least it goes bang now. So that's a huge improvement over what it was. It just doesn't go bang very accurately. Here at like 50 yards, we got, I don't know, a foot's worth of spread. So it's, it's, it's not good. That certainly explains why I wasn't hitting my steel target. <laughs> I guess my other rounds were tumbling. I'm disappointed that I wasted so much ammo. <laughs> but I guess it wasn't a waste because it was all experimentation purposes. And I got to make a video out of it. Uh, so yeah, the Royal Tiger rifle that I got, she tumbles. So I'll have to uh, either replace the barrel. Uh, headspace might potentially be off. These rifles are kind of notorious for having off headspace. So that wouldn't be something surprising. Uh, I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. But I will figure it out. I wanna, I wanna bring this rifle back to life. It's like just a goal that I have of mine. So I will bring it back to life one way or another, even if I have to, you know, either replace the barrel or get it my barrel redone or, or something. I'll figure out something. Oh well. Okay, time for whiskey. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe for more. Like the video if you like the video. Uh, down in the description, you're going to find a bunch of links to social medias, discords, and my gaming channel, etc., etc. Okie dokie. Thanks for watching, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that this rifle didn't uh, pan up to the expectations that I'm sure a lot of people wanted it to pan up to. If you got yourself a number one from Royal Tiger, it might keyhole. I just might. Uh, a lot of the infield rifles coming in from Royal Tiger are notorious for keyholing just because the the bores have been so corroded over the years. I mean, this right here looks all right, or at least I thought it looked all right, but I guess that's not the case. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. You guys go off. Have a fantastic day. I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> the poor man's Garrett. <laughs> Shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream.